joke being there that the name of this country is Chav something or other. Can someone actually post up the name of it so I stop just having to call it Chav whatever? Chav... No, I'm just, just going to give up in that regard. Alright, I don't like this jump. That is why. Sounds like a day of my life just got wasted so delicious. YouTube offers a, uh, a great number of analytics for your videos and the one that always gets me is the total time watched. Bearing in mind that when I started streaming I figured I would pay off my debt by uh, streaming so much that people spend about 10 or 20 days watching it. And uh, I think it's about 27 years now. 27 years of man hours, just people watching me paint maps. People say the horror genre is dead, but that is real horror. Oh, another thing that's been going on is uh, Paradox Extra asked me to do some voiceovers for uh, the videos that they're producing, so I figured I'd give that a go. So I may link up to those uh, later on. Oh. Is this... is this hell? think about it, the more I think that uh, platforms aren't really great for me to stream, because one of the main things about my stream is that I try to respond to anybody that highlights me in chat, but it's very difficult to look at chat and play this game with any degree of professionalism. Okay, it's called Shav Shaveni. Chav Shaveni. Let's go with that. Alright, easy jumps, and we we'll screw them up because the pressure is high. Okay, we're an hour deep and we still have Cotton Alley to do. And we're going to do the kid as well because I've decided I'm going to try and do the kid. Oh, now there's another thought. I need to start up my DDR stream. I made a very vague promise that I would start doing it this week. So, uh, whilst I highly doubt that'll be a Tuesday thing, it's not impossible. The thing is, I haven't uh, spent any time setting up camera, or visuals, and all of that. It is a small room after all, so I'll figure it out. Also, be sure to check in to Bane Williams if you remember me and Bane raced for Great Khan achievement as the Mongol Khanate. And Bane lost. If Bane had won, he would have been able to play a multiplayer game with me on his terms. And that, uh, that might have included some of you, I don't know. He would have been able to choose everything about that multiplayer game. He could have had me play as uh, Blurple and forced me to form Greyskin if he wanted to. But Bane lost, that didn't happen, and as Bane's sacrifice, he put his entire body and pride on the line. He now has to dance and sing to the song Butterfly from DDR. I believe he said he'll be setting that up this week, so be sure to tune in. Ch <sighs> be sure to tune in to Bane Williams. And watch him make a fool of himself. Well, as much a fool as any DDR player can make of themselves. I suppose I will be when I play the game. 
Alright, I, I want to be done with this level now, so enough fooling around. Easy jumps, easy jumps. Everything I want, I get. Alright, boss time. Again, don't have the greatest memories of this level. Jake, show us deaths after this. Uh, if you meant the level previous, then you're out of luck. There's a trick to this level, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Oh, right. Let's keep our eyes on the fetus-related prize. Whoa, he's got magic bullets. For glory and God! Now in this game, uh, the designers, when they saw playtesters playing it, they noticed all these little tricks that they could do to get around their puzzles. And uh, the designer said that when they saw the tricks that people were using, they decided to leave them in the game because they figured, well, if people can figure that out, we might as well leave them in. For example, in this level, you can just jump over those saw blades. I'm not sure if that's intended or not, but it can happen. Also, you're invincible at this stage because... Cutscene. Rest and wreck, fetus. You have been defeatist. Jake, if you absolutely had to choose between playing France, Austria with Day One Formed HRE, Blurple, or Theodoro, which one would you pick? Probably Theodoro, because they're the most challenging. Unlike Blurple, I don't really have anything against Theodoro, it's just people keep asking me to play Theodoro. It's like, uh, Jake, you gonna play Theodoro? Hey Jake, I hear Theodoro's an interesting country to play. Hey Jake, Theodoro's an OPM with unique national ideas. And I get it on Steam as well. People add me and they go, Hey Jake, Theodoro man, you, you should really play it. And uh, when people ask you to do the same thing again and again, you become more and more convinced that you are never going to do it for them. It's not like Blurple where I just outright hate the country. I believe you can just jump around here. Yeah. That is the end of the base game, so please enjoy the ending, although we are not yet done. Remember this guy? Nope, me neither. Let's blow this joint. It's not similar to the ending of the cave story? Falling, dying thingy in the sky? Okay, unskippable credits I see. Come on game, the timer's still going. 
Jake, have you played Braid? I played Braid and it was not good. Alright, can I press anything to get out of this? Nope. Oh well. Impromptu water drinking session. And great music. Yeah, Braid was dire. I did not like it one bit. Same with Binding of Isaac. Ugh. And just as I say that, I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen, but uh, Aristocrat just started playing Binding of Isaac. Jake's clearly not artistic enough for Braid. Are you sure you meant to write artistic and you didn't uh, accidentally mistype for autistic? No, I did not. Did not enjoy it. Find out in the dark world. Well, maybe we will, but that will be another day. For now, though, we have to do Cotton Alley. But we can do that after we find it, uh, figure out how to do the kid again. it again. Oh, Skyscraper. One of the hardest bandages. Okay, why have I been calling it the kid all along? It's the guy. Now I never played I Wanna Be The Guy. I've watched playthroughs for it and just decided there's no way I'm playing that piece of garbage. So, yeah, again, everything... Everything is covered in spikes and will kill you. Get comfy. Let me try and remember this. Okay, so if you walk off you get two jumps. Right. Should be no problem. Your jumps have a lot less power behind them than Meat Boys, that much is for sure. The one saving grace is that the music is great. Because if it wasn't great, I would have never managed this. Fooling around, let's just get this done one shot. One shot. All right. I was hoping I could have done this, you know, all casually, but no. This puts the hell in two hours of hell. Go and make a coffee or something? Now's the time. I think there are levels that are uh, the guy redone, so it's the same levels but even harder. If that's something you want to even imagine. Oh. Physical pain. Early attempts at the 
next level. It must have been something I told myself. Alright, one down, two to go. Try and find that magic pixel. This part reminds me of Mario Hard Relay, if you've ever seen or played that. It's just the, the spikes completely covering walls like that. Yeah, the way up is so much harder. I'm done in fewer tries, though. Don't worry, Jake, we can't clearly see what a casual you are. Well, thank you, Aelicious. Your words are, uh, comforting like a pillow of broken glass. Now, Cotton Alley is no easy world, so the more time I have spare for that, the better. If I could compare this uh, this level to a nation, it would probably be Georgia before Art of War. I'll just try this and oh no, declaration of war by Kata. I'll just try this and oh no, here comes Korea and there's the Ottomans. this level yet. Uh, let's not focus on the obvious truths. Oh. Jake, stop dying. I loathe the sound effect. Alright, I'll take your advice and stop dying. Effective now. Yeah. I failed you, Nightbeer. So few attempts to uh, to practice it because to get there you gotta get through this. I think I'm getting better at this stage now. Oh jeez, this leaves me with 40 minutes for uh, Cotton Alley. No problem. Cotton Alley is just 20 levels of one shot. Oh, 
Strength and honor. No, just no. I'll have to very quickly get a feel for the latter half of this level then. to get good at this because I'm not keen on adding another failure to the two hours of hell list of games there. Especially when there are punishment games on the line. Curiously, has anybody started making a list of uh, punishment games? The sooner we have a list, the sooner we can get to work on that. post-art of war. There's a little OPM in India. They're animist and they have generic national ideas. They're probably not in the worst situation in the game because as with any country that's surrounded by other countries they can eat, you can quickly expand it well enough. You're not in any immediate danger. But long term wise, you're probably one of the worst countries. Other than, you know, the Siberian uh, councils. I just can't see a single strength of those countries. Utterly garbage tech group, government type. The ideas aren't bad per se, but you know. Runs of this game, uh, you're very likely to see deaths. And I am no 100% speedrunner. All right, we're getting closer though. Let go of your despair. Embrace hope. Quite a bit more than half an hour to deal with Cotton Alley. What's that? I want a fun challenge that does not involve world conquest. Try playing as Nagur Little Sultanate in, in India. What's that? with the flag of the German Empire. What, that fat black bird? Yeah, really hard, really hard to watch that. Uh, read the chat whilst playing this horrible level. Alright. Nice timing. No words, just pain. Maybe I should just try and magic pixel it rather than running back and forth. 
gives me less uh, less work to do. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Yeah. What are hit? Well, this is the future I chose for myself, so I can't uh, I can't complain. such a, uh, an overwhelming feel of relief when I get this one done. Does anybody want to add any goals on top of everything else to the Siberian game? I quite like the idea of Chavy England, but often chat has better ideas than I do. Playing around and do it seriously. Get it done in one shot. Converting to Buddhism and do Land of Eastern Jade. Oh, that was going to be my idea with uh, Tangu, wasn't it? Convert to Buddhism, huh? That would be pretty tricky, would it not? I hear that getting uh, zealots as rebel types in the current patch is very difficult. that I was mysteriously getting uh, zealot rebellions or rebel uprising chants from my trade companies, even from a uh, Sunni province. Certainly something a little out of whack there. I tried to run tests before in generating animist zealots, but they were so difficult to get a hold of. Even in provinces of my culture, the game would just prefer to throw um, peasants at me. Wow! Thought I could have had it there, but as is often the case, I thought wrong. Talking about peasants though got me through all that. I think the nation I tried to do it with was Sham, is that them? Kinda pink country to the east of India. They own quite a few provinces and a few of them are animist. So I tried everything I could to get zealots to rise up there and nothing worked, they just wanted to give me peasants. I tried everything, even uh, events, no dice. Feel it. 
It'll be done in 10 goes. So the great shamanist of Lapland has prophesied. This hell will be over within 10 lives. 9 lives. Yeah, I'm screwing up, making rookie mistakes now. First of these three levels back? At least I knew what I was doing there. Don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe inside here. Keeping a close eye on things. Except the chat. Oh! What? <laughs> that would be a new speed strat, but no thank you. Uh, fallen to pieces now. I've lost my confidence. My bravado is gone. And as if to add a uh, reinforcement to that, I think viewership just plummeted. This is my curse. The shamanist getting all uh, flustered and sweaty now says uh, life count is uh, just a number. It's going to give me one hell of a handicap on Cotton Alley. Easy death there to take the edge off of it. Okay. Timing for getting over that is f fairly harsh, but that's okay. The more difficult the challenge, the stronger I become, right? Oh, maybe not. I wonder if I can outrun that in one go, though. One shot, if you will. No, probably not. But I'm tempted to try now. Thank <laughs> you. 
just after I poured myself a cup of coffee. <laughs> yep. Alright, this one will be done in... In ten goes, no problem. Or rather, ten more goes. I really want to outrun it. I know it would be better just to take my time, but it's like it's calling out to me. You cannot defeat me. You do not have enough badges to train me. That's what it's yelling out to me. It must be done. What I mean is uh, racing it to the very end without having to jump over it. Oh jeez, it's just playing games with me now. And the real game is going to be Cotton Alley in that short amount of time. Right, no more games. Let's get this done. No, we're going to have to jump over it. I just get too carried away. Okay, I got this, no problem. I can put an end to this guy and his desires to be the guy. Hmm. Oh, jeez, my thumb hurts like nothing on earth right now. Jake, what is the best country to do a world conquest with now? Um, I know who, but if I said who, then I'd be giving the game away. So let's just say Ottomans and nod with me. I believe it's the Ottomans like a good guy. Can be outrun. Don't be a nuke tease, Jake. Jeez, uh, world conquest. I really don't want to do one again. Like, I really don't want to do one again. It's like writing off uh, a huge chunk of your life, and you'll never see it again, and the payoff is pitiful. Granted, the Ryukyu one kind of put me on the map, so to speak, but still. All that time, all those rebels, all those autosaves. At least the very first Ryukyu World Conquest I did, I did it for three days flat. Stupid idea was that. Let's do Cotton Alley. 22 and uh, a handful of seconds to go. What is that opening a reference to? Can't tell. World Conquest is the most fun to watch, in my opinion. Well, Jack, you uh, don't breed now. Alright, welcome to Cotton Alley. It's like the rest of the game, but they cranked up the difficulty to, uh, not just 11, but more like 200. The light world isn't too bad. Except, uh, get myself stuck there. It's the dark world that really throws the spanners in the works. And I will, I'll try to do dark world in two hours, but I'm not even sure if I deserve a punishment game if I fail that, because dark world in two hours, you'd have to be mentally good at this game to be able to do that, and it's quite clear that I am not such a person. Okay, one down, 19 to go. At least some levels are nice and short. Yeah, provided you don't die.
Now I know that Meat Boy is, well, he's just a guy with no skin, so he's getting his blood everywhere. But there's something I find really disconcerting about just looking at that pink stuff that Bandage Girl leaves behind. If she is indeed a girl covered in bandages, what is this pink stuff? One shot. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. But I can't stop thinking about it. Okay, this makes my head hurt to look at. Maybe we should just gun it. Dying lots to uh, get the tension out of the air, something like that. I'm not bad, I swear. Or if we're going for the chav run, I swear on me mom. That would be a chavy thing to say, right? What kind of person swears something on their mom? Jake, have you played Cloudberry Kingdom? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cloudberry Kingdom sounds like it should be a pretty lame free-to-play game. Hmm. I'm scared to look at the timer right now. 19 minutes, okay. So 7-5, so I've still got 15 to go. Or would that be 16, including this one? Uh, right. I see it now. <sighs> Never gonna get this done if I take so long with each level. I'll save you my meat. I just don't know how yet. Game. I'm on a timer here. <laughs> See what, Jake? A way to faster rake up the death count. That's just harsh, man, but probably true. No, that was foolish. This game is like love. It makes me do stupid things. Okay. You're mine. Let's go, panic attack. Do it in two shots. Two and a half. Mm. 
One thing I've noticed is that pink stuff doesn't seem to get stuck to the uh, the gears. Oh no, no, not levels with fans. I'm not good with fans. What am I even meant to do here? Okay, I see it now. I see it. I want to get it so I can just fly through that centerpiece, but I'm going to have to do it twice. Dust Force, yeah, I played it, but it wasn't really my cup of tea. Just cleaning up after other people. Not something I can stand for. Hmm. That's it. Now let's just do that again. I am really feeling the time pressure right about now. Especially knowing how long some of the later levels can take. Maybe fans, but are they subscribers? Uh, probably not. And that's a wrap. What are we on? 7 8. No time, but that also means no time for worrying. We'll get through this. One way or another. Okay, what? one of those horrible levels where there's simply... Wait, I see it. Freedom! Yeah! Too good. What the hell is this? I don't know what it is, but there's no time to think about it. We gotta go, now! Maybe this whole looking, uh, leaping before looking is working against me, but there's no time to consider the ramifications. Oh, jeez. Come on, this shouldn't be difficult and it shouldn't take long. Alright. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. No problem. Alright. 510. Bullet Bob. How hard could it be? Grab the keys, and then get out of there. One. Two. Who is Bob, and why does he have such heavy artillery? Where do I go? 
I see it. Please! <laughs> this is not good for your blood pressure. It ain't good for my blood pressure, I tell you that. Man old, dang old rockets and hate seeking mana. Jeez, there's simply no time. There was never any time. And if at one session I insinuated that there may have been time, that was a lie because there was no time. Do better when I went this way. Nope. This way. These rockets are like coalitions. I need to keep them desynchronized. I agree. No time. Alright, I'm feeling good about this attempt. Come and get it! Don't feel so hot about this one. Mm. What is this? Oh, the hell with this, I'm out of here. Pretty much eight minutes to go, ten levels to do. This doth not bode well. I even meant to get up there once I have all the keys. That is uh, a question I'm going to have to find the answer to. I'll be back down. Get wrecked, rockets! Okay. Seems like a trick there. I gotta make it so. <laughs> oh wait, now I've got to run balls first into a flurry of rockets. Ah. Okay, let's not do that. And let's also never stand still. Have you played N, Jake? I have not played N, but I have seen it, so I know what you're talking about there. So I'm sure you can guess I have no desire to play it. Jeez. Come on, I can't really waste more than a minute per level here. Unless I pretty much one shot every level from now on. Oh, 
Well, that's one of my one-shots. Alright, what now? That could be a pretty impressive one-shot. But a one-shot it was not. I'll take two, though. Alright, onwards. 513. Oh, let's call this the coming-of-age level. No. No time to even consider failure. That pink slurry just... Oh. Alright, take it easy. No hurry, except for the time limit. And the pink slurry. And the fact that you're slipping. Oh god, you're slipping. There continues to be no time. rising here. I can't get over that without a cool head. Every mistake here is costing me a fistful of seconds that I simply do not possess. <laughs> I'm sure there are shortcuts there, but it uh, probably cost me more time than I'd save trying to get them. Not that I'm succeeding the normal way anyway. Yeah, case in point. Alright, oh, jeez, three minutes to go to do four levels, including this one. Our survey says... Uh -uh. Right, onwards. Oh, what, 14? I thought I was... I thought I was a bit further than that. Alright. Well... For glory in God! No. Fifteen, lockout, let's go. Hey, no, I remember this level taking me about 15 minutes the first time I did it. <sighs> oh, damn. I thought I was on, like, uh, level 17 in my last one. Terrible. Guaranteed that this one's going over then. Well, knowing that I've lost all my wise quips have gone away from me now, oddly enough. Well, I think I've certainly improved from when I started this game. But that is of uh, small consolation. Ah, this level would have ended it all anyway.
the last minute. Yeah, I can't do about five levels in one minute. I think the last level itself is uh, takes quite a while anyway. If my memory serves me. It's not doing a good job today. And there we go, two hours of hell has now failed. So uh, I guess the subscribers get to pick another game. So um, if you're a subscriber, list a game that you want to see me run. It doesn't have to be a two hours of hell, just make sure it's not some game that's going to take 70 hours. You can't ask me to do uh, like a Final Fantasy VII run. And we'll put it into some kind of draw. I will not be dismayed though, I'm still going to try the dark levels in this game. Not today, of course. Yes! Oh dear. There's a few things that give me a bigger smile in all this than seeing William's face popping up in chat. Truly the greatest emote. It puts the emotion in emotion in oh, no, that fails. Whatever, he's just a great face. A man you can trust. If people are unfamiliar with William then. Uh, he is one of my characters in Euro Truck Simulator. And he's just an all-round great guy. Making me loads of money, definitely not doing anything nefarious in that truck I gave him. Holy smokes, this level. A few precise jumps, I should be okay. But getting those jumps. No. Jake, I think you should. I think for this absolutely awful display, you should play a similarly awful game like Secret of the Magic Crystals. Is that not that horse racing game? I got that thinking it looked like an amazing game. Or am I mistaken? Rename this segment two hours of failure. Ah. Oh. When you're a winner, everyone loves you. When you're the loser, you're just a loser. Just a bloody loser. Is this the kind of reception I could have looked forward to if I'd failed my Ryuki run? If so, then I never want to lose again. It's about time you came clean and confessed that this segment is just two hours of tolerable. Actually, if you're late to the delivery, and I don't think I've been late on stream, you get a, a special uh, classification of you're late. Jeez. See, I know this top area fairly well because I've gone through it enough times. I do want to get to the uh, bottom area. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, no, these guys. No, no, no. As I'm sure I mentioned before, there are certainly ways to manipulate them, but I am no good at that. Good for the heart. Jake, for this failure, you should do an Aztec world conquest. There is nothing more deplorable than people who ask me to do world conquests. Worse than beggars. Hey, I know you've done, already done a bunch of world conquests, and I know you don't like doing them, but could you do another one? Come on, it's your old pal Twitch, Twitch user 125 asking you here. It's like, yeah, sure, I'll get right on it. I think the cheeriness of this music is just uh, is truly rubbing salt in the whole situation. I wonder if this is going to end up taking longer than Donkey Kong. You'll never catch me! You mess up here, I think you get stuck. So, uh, don't mess up. All too easy. And final level, if you just imagine that I still had an extra, I don't know, nine minutes. Then we could be hype right now. But no, I don't feel hype. All I feel is shame. Yeah, this level's pretty punishing with the deaths, because it's fairly long. And the worst part, it's just it's just a bunch of really easy jumps back to back. You start feeling the pressure. Okay, chat is just more red than I could uh, I can make out right now. It's easier to read the unhighlighted stuff, which definitely goes against the whole uh, idea of the highlights. Okay, so whilst everyone's here, if you're a, if you're a subscriber, just put in uh, one of the games that you want to uh, that you would like me to play, and someone else is around, take note of them and send it to me in a message. Who wants to take the notes? 
and I will be checking out these games. I keep the chat logs just in case anybody's trying to really make me play Goof Troop. Don't know who would be asking that. These jumps are the most frustrating because uh, those tiny, tiny saws are very, very easy to jump over. But when the pressure is on, yeah, you can really muck them up. And done. 10 minutes and 44 seconds over. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in to uh, 2 hours, 10 minutes and 44 seconds of hell. It was a lot of fun, definitely not good for the heart, but uh, we roll with the punches here in 2 hours of hell. This uh, pretty much solidifies the fact that I'm never going to manage dark uh, dark levels within 2 hours. I'm still going to try though, because it, uh, it's a great game, I love playing it. Tomorrow will be a very stream-heavy day, I imagine. There will be trucking, there may be two hours of hell, there will certainly be Europa Universalis 4, and I intend on starting... Uh, that's enough of you. I intend on starting my new campaign. So I'm going to finish off Shekel Master, because let's face it, it's kind of like Genoa. I'm making loads of money. I can beat off Castile any day I want to, so we'll just... Uh, We'll end it, we'll get a few more bits of India, and I think we'll just go on a rampage across Europe. Uh, that sounds like fun. And then, win or lose in that war, I'm going to call it quits there. And start up the new Siberian game. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. In any case, I'm off. I, uh, you have a lovely rest of your day. I'm certainly not going to spend the rest of my night playing Freedom Wars. Ciao for now, and uh, I guess don't settle for pink skin. <laughs>